Although non-American, Winston Churchill said um, on or around World War II that never was so much owed by so many to so few. That stands true today. The Star EMS family and I personally are honored that the men and women portrayed on this wall of honor walk among us. Our country and the freedoms we enjoy would not be possible without the service and sacrifices of active duty and veteran personnel of our armed forces. I personally am an optimist, and I'm confident that the United States of America and the grateful citizens that make it up will continue to remain the land of the free only so long as it has the home of the brave and people step forward. The bravery exemplified by the veterans of Star EMS depicted on this wall are what make us free. So I want to thank Brad Dufresne, who was in the Navy, Doug Hibbing, who was in the Marines, Charles Hughes, at 14 was in the Air Force, <laughs> judging from his picture. Roscoe Hultz was in the Navy. Ryan Kidd was in the Army. And by the way, a recipient of the Purple Heart, which is something. Christina Latour was in the Navy. Rich Levine, Army. Don Ottermeyer was Army. Tom Robinson, our only Coast Guard person. And by the way, Coast Guard and a gun, I'm not sure. That might have been a hand-me-down. Uh, Rob Smith was in the Marines and Steve Tinson Army. This wall is going to remain as a tribute to all veterans and to remind everyone entering our building to be grateful for all military veterans and especially the veterans who serve at Star EMS, past, present, and into the future.